these are the pieces that I'm going to concentrate on while developing this faux ivory technique. I don't happen to have any antique ivory in my collection, so I don't have a piece that I can refer to in the flesh. However, there are plenty of images available that depict antique ivory, and I've drooled over them enough times to have a working familiarity with the qualities that it has. For one thing, it will not be a stark white. It will develop a patina with age that has more yellow and brown tones in it. Ivory also tends to display a grain, almost like a very fine wood. And over time, that grain becomes more apparent. I've decided to approach creating my faux ivory by beginning with attempting to replicate that sense of grain that we find in the surface of old ivory. And I'll be using just a simple craft knife. A word about safety, if you're using a snap-off blade like I am here, please wear eye protection. They can unpredictably snap and fly across the room to mar the surface of this panel in a way that I hope will mimic the grain of ivory. So I'm just taking the pointed end and beginning the process of scraping along the surface of the resin. These are very small, tiny scratches that I'm making. You may be able to see them as I tilt this in the light, but they are quite subtle. So I'll continue that process along this entire area. Now this roughens the surface and these tiny incised lines are almost invisible at this point. I made my first pass by dragging the side of the blade through the material and I'm going to come back and use the narrow aspect of the blade to add even finer lines along the same trajectory. Now it's going to be quite challenging to try to get this same type of detail into these highly textured areas and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. I will just make a couple of passes along the top of these designs. Okay, now I'm going to wipe this carefully to get rid of any crumbs or dust that's been created through the scraping process. 